how the partial pager is controlled. Okay, now I will go to the control side. Okay, ini diagram lebih last gate. Ini lah when the in the mechanic in the in the examination the essay question normally the essay question when they want to come when want you to write about the control of breathing mechanism in the lung in the human lung. Ah, uh, you need to write explain this 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 ah uh, by call a uh, flow diagram lah. Uh, if flow flow diagram lah. Ah, uh, if you able to explain this, then you can score it lah. Okay, so what are the ah uh, apa maksudnya? Okay, ah uh, maksudnya. So the main situation is that your when your when your pass your your passer pressure of carbon dioxide is increase is increase. Ah, uh, meaning when you are doing exercise, ah, uh, paling penting awak buat exercise. Memang kan, awak very famous example. If you doing exercise, you in in jog logic, awak dah kecil pun tahu lah. When you are lari 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 banyak kali, ah uh, lari very far, then you found it. Ah ah ah, macam nak 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 banyak kali kan? Ah, kenapa? Siapa yang control tu? So. When you know that when you are doing exercise, I already mentioned many times. Even in bow effect, also same. Ah, uh, bow effect. You know that when you are very ah uh, doing exercise, your partial pressure of carbon dioxide in blood is very high, and then this one will cause bow effect already. So it need bow effect, and then and then it also will cause the high concentration hydrogen ion. So it need that bow effect. Bow effect. Ah, salah satu mechanism is bow bow effect. Ah, uh, I already explained. And then another mechanism, although ah uh, another another mechanism is about the our breathing rate, our breathing rate, ah uh, the bow effect is about the gases exchange, about the gases exchange between the hemoglobin and oxygen, but this one is about the breathing mechanism. Macam mana ke ah uh, the breathing rate that we occur, ah uh, because you need to you need to you need to increase the rate of gases exchange. You need to increase your respiration rate also. If your respiration rate, uh, your breathing rate is not increased, macam mana dia ba dia dia ma buat kesel ejen yang paling tinggi kan? So when your high your when your hydrogen ion in your blood is very high, very very high, dia akan dia akan dia akan dia akan send signal, dia akan detect kepada dua dua ini. So firstly, dia akan detect pada Ole, chaotic and iotic body. So this one is about peripheral chemo receptor. Your peripheral chemo chemo receptor will detect. Dia akan detect. Oh, dah dah detect lah. Your blood, your blood, ah, page, your blood pH value is very low already. Dia akan detect. And then at the same time also, at the same time also, if your page, if your mana, if your hydrogen ion is very very high. It will diffuse the hydrogen ion will diffuse into the ah into into the cerebral ah cerebral spinal fluid one. So once your hydrogen ion is influenced in ah go to the cerebral spinal fluid, the central chemo receptor will also detect it. Dia akan dia pun akan detect punya. Oh, hydrogen ion dekat fluid ni ah cerebral cerebral spinal fluid ni pun sangat tinggi lah. So kalau dua-dua ni dia nak detect, <coughs> memang dia stimulated, dia akan send impulse kepada respiratory center, ah uh, inspiratory center. Dia akan send impulse dekat inspiratory center. Ah, uh. so once it send the impulse into the inspiratory center, dia akan inspiratory center is already stimulated. Dia pun akan send impulse kepada diaphragm and also muscle. So the nerve, the nerve that involved in diaphragm is we call as phrenic nerve, and then the nerve involved in intercostal muscle we call as intercostal ah intercostal nerve. Okay, so once the once the inspiration ah inspiration or ah central is stimulated, it will go to this diaphragm, and then what what the blood does the diaphragm will do is diaphragm will contract right. Ah diaphragm contract in intercostal muscle. One is contract, one is relax. Ah. Is relaxed that you don't learn in about this in inspiration. So all the inspiration you need to mention out lah. All this ah, this one is we call as effector. Ah, ini ini apa yang what are your lung will do lah. Ah, ini awak kena tu 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 ni semua lah. 
ok ok a ver ay que la papa también ok ok now ok now ok uh, once the and then it will increase the ventilation rate ok once the ventilation rate is go is very increased very high uh, as, uh, your lung is stretching excessively, your stress receptor will be stimulated and then it will inhibit the inspiratory, inspiratory center and then once it is inhibit, inhibited, the expiratory center will be stimulated. So it is a repeated, repeated process. So the are like uh, Chemo receptor, if it is stimulated, it will go to inspiratory center and then there are a couple of giga we need the coronary signal inspiration and then stress receptor is stimulated and then it will go to it will give the positive effect to expiratory sector but the get the negative effect to inspiratory sector so they are going to stop the inspiration first ah, and then it will stimulate expiration and then and then go to expiration and then stress receptor is stop stimulated and then that's all this is what we call as control of breathing during the exercise so the first one is your chemo receptor. If your chemo receptor is not stimulated, your, then your breathing rate is normal as same person as usual. But when you are doing very vigorous exercise, your pH value level of your blood or your cerebral spinal fluid is decreasing, then your chemo receptor for peripheral and central chemo receptor will be activated and stimulated. And then they are going to go through process more. And then these are the this is the explanation lah, what I say what I say uh just now. Okay. So 